Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to tie a figure eight on a bike. This is an extremely useful knot to know in climbing because it allows you to create an isolated loop in the middle of a rope. Now, you can also do that with an alpine butterfly knot, but the figure eight on a bike might be a little bit easier to tie from memory and it's very, very secure. So what we're going to do is just, I've got a length of rope here, dynamic climbing rope, make a bite like that, so a loop, a closed loop. And then I'm going to get a decent amount of rope here. And then I'm going to create a bowl like that, another loop. And then I'm going to come across like that. I'm going to come all the way around. See what I've done there? And I'm going to push it through the original loop like so. And finish off like that. So if you know how to tie in using a figure eight, a re-threaded figure eight, it's basically the first move that you do. It's, the, it's very similar to the first move you do to create the original figure of eight before you pass the rope through your harness. So, and there you have obviously the isolated loop. And this knot is most often used by climbers if they just want to clip into an anchor point. Um, you know, if, if they just want safety and they don't want to use a sling, they don't want to use an extra piece of gear, when they climb up, they reach the, the bolts in the wall, they whack in a locking carabiner, tie a figure eight on a bike near to their belay loop and bam, they're immediately safe. And I suppose it's a little bit less faff than using an alpine butterfly. Um, so, you know, there we go. It's a very simple knot, very good and, uh, and easy to tie. So there you go. There's your figure eight on a bike.